Hi, I'm David Wyatt. This is a, a presentation that kind of gives you a little bit of idea about what I do. Um, to start off with, we're going to do something very basic. Uh, we're going to talk about the basic refrigeration cycle. Uh, this is an introduction to the basic refrigeration cycle. Uh, as we go through the slides, we will identify key components and briefly explain their functions. The first thing we're going to start with is at the compressor. The compressor is considered a vapor pump because no liquid ever enters the compressor under normal operation. However, it compresses the low pressure vapor it receives from the evaporator coil into a high pressure vapor to be moved into the condensing coil, which is located outside. The condensing coil receives the high pressure vapor from the compressor. As the cooler outdoor temperature is drawn across the condensing coil, heat is released and the high pressure vapor condenses into a high pressure liquid, preparing it to be fed into the metering device. This action takes place approximately about two thirds of the way through the coil and is ca uh, called subcooling. As the high pressure subcooled liquid enters the metering device, it is channeled through a small orifice where the pressure is reduced to a low pressure liquid. This prepares the liquid to enter the evaporator coil or the indoor coil. When the low pressure liquid is fed into the coil, the warm return air from the structure causes the liquid to flash. This action absorbs the heat from inside the space and cools the air entering the space. As the gas exits the coil, it has been heated by the return air and this is known as superheated vapor. The difference from input temperature as compared to output temperature is superheat and is measured. From a technician standpoint we now have a rough idea how efficiently our system is functioning. Normal superheat is between 7 to 10 degrees of Fahrenheit of superheat. This function is done with a gauge manifold set and a fast acting thermometer. And that completes the basic refrigeration cycle, and I hope this information was helpful. Thank you.